This problem asks, what is the anode pH in the cell below if E cell at non-standard state is 0.12 volts? We are given a cell set up here and the pertinent reduction reactions. In order to solve this, we need to write the reaction. So, kindly remember that our electrochemical cell has the format anode in the first compartment and cathode in the second compartment. So, my anode involves materials like oxygen and hydroxide. So when I go to add these reactions, I'm going to flip the anode because an oxidation occurs. My second compartment deals with silver ion and silver, so this will be my cathode reaction, and I will write it as is when I go to write the reaction. So you notice I have turned around my anode reaction. In other words, I have switched the location of my products and my reactants. My cathode reaction I have copied down below in the same order. I would like to add these, but I have one electron coming in and four electrons coming out. So the solution is to multiply the bottom reaction by four. This will give me four electrons coming in and four electrons coming out. When I add everything, canceling out the electrons, my net redox reaction is shown right here. And from the information in the cell notation, I have the concentration of the silver ion, the pressure of the oxygen, and I am trying to figure out the hydroxide concentration so that I can get the pH. Now, since we are at non-standard conditions, we need to use the Nernst equation, which is shown right here. So, I need to know the cell potential at non-standard state. The problem gives me that. It's 0.12 volts. I need to know the standard state cell potential. So that would be E cell is equal to the cathode reduction potential minus the anode reduction potential. So you notice I grab 0.8 from up here and subtract 0.4 and my standard state cell potential is 0.4 volts. N stands for moles of electrons transferred, which is what I use to balance the equation, so that is 4. Q will be my products over my reactants raised to the power of their coefficients. So I will have the pressure of oxygen over my silver ion concentration to the fourth power, and my hydroxide ion concentration to the fourth power. Filling in the information I know, this is my Q expression, and I need to solve for my hydroxide concentration. So here is the equation I need to solve. First, I'm going to move my 0 0.40 over to this side, so I will have minus 0.28 equals minus 0.0592 divided by 4, log of my Q expression. Now I'm going to multiply by 4 and divide by negative 0.0592. So now I have 18.919 equals log of my Q expression. I need to get rid of the log, so I will take both sides to the tenth power. Now I have gotten rid of the log. And I think the easy thing to do here is my hydroxide concentration to the fourth power is on the bottom. So I think I will move it over here and move my 10 raised to the power down here in the denominator. And you notice I've also taken 0.5 to the fourth power, which is 0.0625. And now I just need to multiply these through. And now I need to take the fourth root, so I will take the fourth root of this value. I get that the hydroxide concentration is 3.72 times 10 to the minus 5 molar. Of course, we take the negative log of our hydroxide concentration to get the pOH of 4.43. 
And finally, to get the pH, we take 14 minus the pOH, and our final answer is 9.57.